The Toronto Raptors and the LA Clippers are like polar opposites of one another. This might not be the highest profile game in the NBA tonight, but there's some interesting numbers to go over and we're going to talk about it. Before we do, I got to tell you about a promotion we have available right now at wagertalk.com. For a limited time, you can get all my college and pro basketball plays. 30 days, all access. You can get $50 off using the promo code HOOPS30. Why would you be interested in that? Well, I'm still the number one profit handicapper in the NBA this season. Number one profit handicapper in the NBA since January 1st of 2024. And also number one with NBA and college basketball in 2024. I come into Saturday's card riding a perfect 10-0 run with college basketball. And I do have a 5% play available on my page today. But don't waste your money on that. Get the all-access 30-day package. Use that promo code. That will give you the best value. As always, there's no purchase necessary. You're more than welcome to tune in just for the free picks. The only thing I ask from you is that you take the time to smash that like button, and that will allow me to keep putting out these videos. Let's get into it. The Clippers are a six-point favorite. The total sits at 224.5. And And a game like this, I think we got to look at the total. Uh, Neither of these two teams are, are likely to be playoff teams. Perhaps the Clippers are a play-in team at best, but Toronto is uh, certainly a team that is rebuilding. They're letting the youngsters play. They got a lot of injuries. Uh, Quickly, the point guard has been out for a while. Uh, Scotty Barnes is on the shelf for quite some time. And younger players are stepping up, and one of those players is Grady Dick, the former Kansas Jayhawk. Uh, He was averaging 27 points per game over a four-game stretch. And then in his last game against Sacramento, he only played 19 minutes and scored seven points. Uh, It was a tough game for the Raptors. Uh, Dick might get back on track here today. His points total is pretty low. So if you're looking at player props, have a look at Grady Dick. Uh, Toronto, uh, second in the NBA in possessions per game. Uh, They're averaging 107.5 possessions per game. The Clippers, one of the slowest paced teams in the NBA, averaging just over 100 possessions per game. They rank 27th in the NBA in that category. Uh, Toronto comes in losers of six of their last seven, but they've covered the spread in seven of their last eight. I think the bookmakers are aware of that. This line of six doesn't look like it's, uh, you know, you'd expect the Clippers to be a bit bigger favorite here, uh, but I, I think the fact that Toronto has been good against the spread, keeps that number down. Like I said, I'm not really interested in the side. I'm looking at these numbers with the totals. Looks like a pace war. Toronto comes in. They want to run and gun. They don't care if they give up points. They just want to score and run and push the pace. And a lot of the time their opponents are are happy to let them do that because uh, they rank dead last in the NBA in opponent scoring average. They're giving up 125 points per game. Uh, The Clippers second best defense in the league. They're giving up 107 points per game. Uh, Toronto's team total tonight, just 109 and a half. Yeah, the Clippers are holding average opponents to 107 points per game. So that's a couple points higher than their average, but this isn't an average team. This is a team that's going to give up 125 points. That's going to push the pace. That's going to let you score and are happy to trade opportunities, even if they're coming up short. I like Toronto to get their points whether they win, lose, or cover in this game. So we're going to take Toronto, team total over 109.5. If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you got anything to say to me, even if it's nasty, you hit me up in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.